Hey guys, Bumper Game Bad today, bringing you know, our video, and today we are going to be covering our weapon conversion series, the MCX, the Sig Sauer MCX Rattler out of the M13B. So I'll run you through how to unlock this thing, and we'll build the MCX Rattler here, the brand new weapon here for Season 1 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, Season 1 weapon here that you need to unlock through DMZ. So go ahead, back out. I'll show you the weapon. We'll talk about how to unlock it. Take a look at it in the firing range, recoil control, and how it handles in game. So let's go ahead now and we'll back out. And just to open up, they actually updated the uh, weapon preview here. So I'm not sure. It's still not really fully live, it seems. But if I back out, I'll show you guys how to do this. You go to customize gun screen, I think. is uh, It's a little bug still, but you want to go to... I don't know why it's you can go to gun screen or you can go to charm is what I used to do but let's try gun screen you're gonna hover over it pull your left stick down towards you and then press it in and that is that is not right so we're gonna do it from the charm try the th same thing pull it towards us push it down um, still a little zoomed out I'm not sure it just kind of bugged after I did it because it worked for the opening so maybe with camos no I'm not sure what's wrong with it but uh, oh, weapon preview. Okay, so it is live now. So it is at the menu. You used to have to glitch into it, but now you'll view it here. L3 for preview, and here you go. So it's finally live. You used to have to glitch into it kind of through the charm icon, but now it looks like it's just finally there. So you can do it this way. Play the, pre play the preview animation, and you're good to go. But here is the 6-hour MCX Rattler SBR. So let's go ahead, and we'll back out, and we will take a look at this weapon. So we'll strip it down to base first off. We're going to want to select the M13B. Now, to unlock this weapon, unfortunately, it looks like the footage probably won't download in time from today's stream, but I'll, I'll throw that up tomorrow. The way you unlock this is you need to go into DMZ, and you need to kill the chemists in their radiation zone and extract with this weapon. So I'll have that video tomorrow showing you guys how to walk through it and do it because I, I did it solo in DMZ. Not super hard when you find the right strategy. Um... The chemist is wearing all yellow hazmat suit. You need to go into the radiation zone. Easiest way I did it, recommended from chat from uh, Big Pod, was to bring a car in and run him over. I got a car in there and ended up having to engage with enemy operators and the uh, all the AI that were protecting him. But he is wearing a yellow hazmat outfit. You kill him, pick up the yellow MCX, and then you need to egg extract with it. Um, the M13 MCX. So you extract with it. And then you unlock it here in game. So we have it unlocked here. And again, that video will be tomorrow if you're struggling how to do it. I soloed it. Um, once you get used to DMZ, it's pretty easy, to be honest. So here's the MCX Virtus or the M13B SBR. MCX Virtus. Go ahead and put it. Go ahead and equip the base weapon here. Now, unfortunately, we can't make my, my favorite version of this. Hopefully, that'll be an attachment down the road. But we'll go into the gunsmith option here. Now, for the MCX Rattler barrel option we have two choices we have the 14 inch and we have the seven inch so in real life the rattler is going to be a five and a half inch barrel this is again we've talked about it in a lot of our conversion series call of duty historically does uh in between barrel lengths of different real life builds i'm not sure they do it on purpose um but you know this is in between what the uh patrol is and this is in between what the actual rattler is so um we'll run the seven inch brewing barrel this is going to give us the aim down sight speed, hit recoil control, movement speed, cons being damage at range, bullet velocity, hit fire accuracy, and recoil control. But the recoil is still very good. And again, this is a, essentially a PDW personal defense weapon here firing a rifle caliber of the 556 by 45 NATO. Now in real life, it can also fire 300 blackout, but we don't have that ammo available for the M13 in this game like we did in Modern Warfare 2019. So we'll select the 7-inch barrel. Next up for the laser, we're going to go ahead and do the equivalent to what the TAC laser was, the VLK uh, LZR 7 milliwatts. This is going to give us the aimed out sight speed, aim and stability, sprint to fire speed with the comm being the laser visible to enemies only when you ADS. So just be careful when and where you ADS there, um, and you'll be good to go. The other ones are all hip fire, so we'll go ahead and select this one. You can see the differences between some of these. Go ahead and do the ZLR uh, LZR, so, or the VLK LZR. So these names are very confusing, but... And then up for the uh, optic, we actually have a new optic here that we're going to run today. I'll have to get into it further further down the road as to what optic it is in real life because um, I didn't get a good good chance to inspect it yet. And I'm not sure quite how to unlock it. It must be part of the new platform, but the CZ Battle Optic. So 
It's going to give us precision sight picture, the cons here, aim down sight speed, and aim walking movement speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. Stock option here, we're going to want that uh, skeleton folding stock here for the M13. The Bruin Flash V4 stock. This is what you see on the MCX, uh, most of the vertices and the Rattlers. Um, as well as you have the pistol stabilizing brace there as well. But we'll go ahead with the Bruin Flash 4V or what is the skeleton folding stock. The pros here are going to be sprint to fire speed, aim walking movement speed, or excuse me, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, aim down sight speed, with the cons being aiming stability and recoil control. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then for our next option here, we're going to want the underbarrel option. So for this one, I'm just going to go with that Magpul uh, foregrip. Again, this is more so personal ch choice you can run with, but the Magpul uh, vertical foregrip going to give us hip fire accuracy. Again, this is an SBR or a PDW uh, with a short barrel, so we're going to be using it for close quarters combat, so that's good. Hip, uh, aim walking movement speed, recoil steadiness, and hip recoil control with the cons being aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And you can see here the other attachments for the muzzle. We do have some new unlocks like the Cronin ma 86 i believe is a new one here which is nice and we do have some new attachments along the way this one here i think is a new one actually the f the fjx uh full crumb pro is a really good uh break compensator combo and i think that's the only new one for that category we also should have a new grip here i think um i think Justin over on, I think it's this one here, the Agent Grip. This may be a new one, I'm not sure. Justin over on uh, Twitter, um, I'm not sure if he wants me to give his full name, but he did uh, screenshot one of these for me. I believe the Agent Grip is new, but we'll we'll cover that in a future video. Ammo, what you have for this one is a frangible hollow point armor over pressured and high velocity, so all the standards in the magazines. You have a standard 30, 45, and you have the 60 round casket mag there as well. And then for our grips, we obviously have the standard grips. Uh, nothing nothing unique there. However, we do have a new optic, if you guys weren't aware. I believe you unlock it via the MPX, which is a submachine gun variant here. But that's going to be a uh, Trijicon ACOG with a top mount of Delta point here. So 4.8 with that top mount of Delta. So we have a nice alternative to the hammer here, which is cool. The next up, I really want them to see, I want to see them do a uh, the Elcan with a with a top mount of Delta, but this is a nice looking optic, really cool here, 4.8 versus the hammer is 4.3, so you get a little bit of extra zoom there uh, versus the hammer optic, so that's that's good to see the Trijicon ACOD with a top mount of Delta. Go ahead and back out, this is our final build, so we can just simply preview it now by hitting L3, and here's our final design, just a beautiful looking weapon, the MCX Rattler, again, in real life, it's five and a half inches, you can see it here, we have the, the, uh, the transparent magazine, we have uh, same AR controls that you see. We have uh, not AMI on this. It's just the standard AR-15. So we have the left-hand side select fire, mag release, bolt release on the left-hand side there. And then we have the forward assist. Now, beautiful looking weapon again. Really good to see this one added back into the game. And just for cam camouflage, as quick so you guys can see the camouflages that are unlocked with this, you get this, uh, this tarnish shed, which is beautiful uh, with 50 kills, just a great looking camo. I love that dirt, that dirty desert type look is really nice. And you get this one here, um, which is the field ops, is a is a great looking one as well. 10 double kills with the M13, and then 50 with this one. So these are great camos. The camos, I love how worn they look in this game. Let's go ahead now, and we'll jump into the uh, firing range of this weapon and check out how it con how it handles here in game. So jumping into the firing range, you can see here just a great. Great to see the M13 back. We have the MCX Rattler here, 5.56 five, by 45 NATO. Loving the optic. Go ahead here. We'll step up to the firing range and check it out. So, letting it rip. See how it is at longer ranges. Again, I think this is uh, 50, 50 meters right here. Again, this is not built for these ranges, really. But again, still effective. With a full magazine, we can easily hit that. Let's take a look, single shot, what the uh, what it is on these dummies, even though I don't think it, unless they updated it, it shouldn't represent in-game hits, but let's see. Five shots at the 10 meter. Five shot at the 20 meter, 25 meter, and then I believe this is 50, so this is going to be, let's check, let's uh, actually mount it to be sure. Probably around seven, I'm guessing. Two, three, four, five, six... 
So it looked like it was six. I think one of those rounds actually went through the middle of the dummy. So let's test it once more. Upper torso shots here in the, in the thorax if we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six shots. Pretty easy there. Let it rip. Again, not built for those ranges, but with a full mag, you can mag dump. I would recommend tap firing though, but that is our MCX Virtus. Let's take a look at the recoil control here. Just let this thing rip. I'll stand up and let it rip, not controlling it. So you can see there, it's basically straight vertical. You can control it better with a different grip, but it's going to go up slightly to the left and then deviate back to the right. Try and control it here. So again, pretty easy. You can just see it's going to do a, a slight zigzag, which you can see here. But that's the recoil for the MCX uh, Rattler here, the M13B conversion. Go ahead now, and we will jump in-game here against bots and just run into some real information for this weapon. So again, I'll have the video up tomorrow just because by the time I edit, edit this and upload it, um, the stream itself is still downloading. We got it at the very tail end of the stream, so if you're really curious how to do it, um, feel free to go ahead and watch today's stream and just fast forward to the very last DMZ round is where we got it to end the stream so it was actually a crazy dmz round i took out a full three-man squad um did a lot of work killed a shit ton of ai and uh <clears throat> extracted with that thing and i think i even killed uh, i think i took out multiple squads so it was a great game and we got the m13 again to get this you need to go into the radiation zone which is clearly labeled on your map it's it's a yellow circle with the radiation symbol and you need to kill the chemist who is wearing a uh uh, yellow hazmat suit so you can't miss him he's guarded by a lot of enemy aq ai forces though so you need to be very careful and especially because with a challenge unlock everybody's pushing towards him so just keep that in mind now the uh mcx rattler again is part of the uh mcx uh the mcx vertus platform in real life and here in game we got the mpx we got the mcx and we're also going to be getting the q honey badger as part of this uh platform which is the Bruin Ops platform so in real life the uh, SIG MCX has been in service since 2015 through present multiple iterations I would also expect us to see the uh, MCX Spear or the M5 which is the weapon that just won the US, US military's NGSW bid firing that 6.8 by 51 millimeter I'd expect to see that down the road eventually as part of this platform as well but the uh, the MCX Rattler SBR here is a great weapon like i said it's uh typically can be equipped in um in either uh 300 blackout or also in uh 556 by 45 nato which is what we have here so this version obviously 556 by 45 nato we have a 5.5 inch barrel or a 140 millimeters we also have a uh 30 round polymer magazine or in this case also it's is transparent which you see a lot on the uh mcx so polymer transparent magazine um ar-15 mag type and obviously similar platform the action is going to be uh semi-auto full auto select fire dependent on the version whether it's whether it's uh, military use police or civilian and then the stock type we have the folding minimalist stock type or the skeleton skeletonized stock which we see here in game and then for the twist rate, it's a 1.7 twist rate with a for the uh, 5.6 version versus the 1.5 twist rate on the 300 blackout version. We have a polymer grip type, and for the overall length of this weapon for the Rattler with a five and a half inch barrel, it's going to be 23 inches or 584 millimeters. And for the overall width, it's going to be 2.8 inches or 71 millimeters, with the height being 8 inches or 203 millimeters. And then the rail accessories there that we see on the uh, on the on the M13B for I believe it's all um, all versions we see with the different barrel types of handguards is going to be M lock. The overall operating system is a gas piston with the weight being six pounds. So again, a, a really great weapon here. I love I love seeing this weapon in the game. I'm really glad they added it here. Eventually down the road, hopefully we do maybe get a 300 blackout conversion, but it but it seems like they're saving that for the honey badger, uh, which will be added in in the mid season. But again, a really nice weapon. Really love to see this thing added to the game. Developed by Sig Sauer here. 
Really good weapon. And again, the Sig Spear, I think the M5 should be added to the game eventually down the road as well also. But this really is classified as a PDW personal defense weapon. And PDWs um, different than SMGs because they, they have the same purpose. However, PDWs are basically pretty much made to fire the rifle caliber. Um, being in this case the 556 by 45 NATO, we see it with 300 blackout as well. Um, and even a PDW classified as a 57 uh, by 28 like the FNP90 and even the um, even the MP7 could be classified as a PDW because it doesn't fire your typical pistol caliber of the 9x19 or 9x18 and things like that. So the MCX Virtus, in this case the Sig Sauer MCX Rattler. Let me know what you guys think of this weapon overall. Have you unlocked it yet in DMZ? Let me know your thoughts. If you're having trouble, again, I'll have that video out tomorrow, but if you can't wait and you really want to get it tonight, check out today's stream and just fast forward to that very last DMZ game, and I soloed that thing, and it was, it was very exciting. We got it in dramatic fashion. It was really fun, but I would recommend just going into some DMZ solar with buddies and just kind of messing around. It's a lot of fun, and it took me a few games to really understand um what the heck i was doing and understand how to interact and engage with the ai you cannot run and gun with this with this mode the ai will kill you uh, depending on this where you are on the map so let me know your thoughts down below m13 b or the mcx rattler with that five and a half inch barrel here in game at seven and a half and again i love that you're unlocking these things through dmz it makes it a lot of fun social media links and everything like that are down below we have uh twitter instagram and also Discord down below there. We have a great community in Discord sharing a lot of stuff in there. So go ahead and join up there. And I also have my Twitch link down below as well. So I will be live by the time this video goes live. I will be live over on Twitch. So after you finish watching this, go ahead and uh, join. We'll be doing some unlocks for the M13 and probably some more Warzone and DMZ with some of the uh, some of our members here in the community having a good time trying to probably unlock this again for some of them. So uh, most likely you'll see us doing that over there on stream as well if you're enjoying the content be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video uh for more we do a lot of weapon conversions here on the channel and uh i'll be covering more with these new weapons being the m13 the m uh px as well as the lw50 which is the new sniper rifle so i'll be doing conversions covering all those weapons let me know your thoughts about this down below and again the uh the the rattler just a great weapon in real life, 300 blackout or 556. It is classified as a personal defense weapon. Um, and I'm kind of a, a little bummed they didn't uh, include the integral suppressed version of this with the barrel like we had in Modern Warfare 2019. But maybe, just maybe, that'll be a barrel attachment down the road. But we'll have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, this is Buffering Gaming with the Sig Sauer MCX Rattler conversion for the M13B. Till next time, Buffering Gaming. Out. I'm requesting recon at this time. Copy that. Reloading. CD online and opening the AO. Get up. Suboptimal. Suboptimal.